The first thing that we'll be doing is prepping our DVD storage box and cutting out our shapes using the George and Basic Shapes Cricut cartridge. So I'm going to go over what I used um, to cut out the shapes. That was the George and Basic Shapes Cricut cartridge. And I just used the rectangle shape to cut out everything that I needed to put out on my box. So I have um, three different coordinating scrapbooking papers. And um, the size that I needed for this box for the side and um, the front and back was five and three fourths by eight. And I needed five of these. And then for the top of the box that wraps around either side, I needed um, an eight by 10 piece. So I've already cut that out. So the first step is going to be to um, adhere our papers to our box. And as you can see, I've already done one side and one end. Um, I also should mention, if you are using a paper box, you want to make sure that you spray your box with primer and let that dry to give it a nice seal so that when you're using your Mod Podge, it doesn't sink into your box and make it all wrinkly. They also have wooden boxes, but this was just a cheaper alternative and more economical. So, um, so I'm going to do that and then also I'm going to show you how to work around this little label holder in the front. If you buy a box that's plain, that's great. You can use um, those label holders that we sell and we're going to be using those on the front of the envelope. But if you have something like this um, on your box, I'm going to show you how to work around that as well. So our first step, and we've talked about this before, but the way I Mod Podge is I am going to apply, apply some adhesive beforehand to the panels. That's just the way I do it. It's easier for me to do it that way. So, And I want to make sure that I get my adhesive all the way to the edge. You also want to make sure that if you have a pattern, as I do on um, this box, that you want to adhere the pattern the same way on each side. So see that was upside down, so I want to make sure it's like this. And I'm just going to center it on my side, or as centered as I can be. And I'm just going to eyeball it, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to use my Mod Podge pretty sparingly just because if it gets, the less I use the faster it dries and you really, after adhering um, the paper with the adhesive, you really don't need a ton to stick it down. So I'm just going to cover my entire surface with my foam brush and this is what I did for the sides that are already dry. Make sure I get the edges. So we're done with that part and I'm going to let that dry and we'll move on to creating the panel for the side with the label. So if you have a Cricut Design Studio, if you work with the Cricut Design Studio, it's very easy to create um, a rectangle within a rectangle and that then you can have a little cutout that leaves space for your label. And then I, when I just peel this off, it will easily fit over where my label is and I can bend that over. But if you do not, measure your label um, holder and mine measured um, two and a half inches long by one and one fourth high. 
So I made um, a little pattern for myself, as you can see right here. I just traced it on the back of a piece of paper. You And this is a scrap because you can see the white line here. But I, I traced that out on this paper and I measured how much it needed to be up from the bottom in order to get right where I wanted it to be. So I measured an inch and a half up from the bottom. And then in order to cut my square, I am going to cut a diagonal from corner to corner with my utility knife. And then I'm gonna cut this way also. And then I'm just going to take my flaps and fold them back. And that's going to give me a little, a nice little opening, just like that. Now remember, this is my template, so if I have a ripped piece of paper or I need to cut it a little larger, that's okay. And then I'm going to just bring it back over to my box and see how that works. And it's running just a tad small, but I think that's going to be okay. And then I can use this as my template to cut another rectangle on the page that I really want to use. So I'm going to cut my little tabs off. My utility knife. And obviously you want to make sure that you're going to you're cutting on a surface that is safe to cut on. And it was just a little bit shy, so I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. And pull that excess out of there. And then we have a template to use. So for this piece, I'm actually just going to use the piece that I cut from the Cricut. right over where my little label is and I'm going to press it down. I have my adhesive already on the back and then I'm going to Mod Podge this size. 